This video is about why we split data across multiple tables and how we think about putting them back together if we need to combine the data from across those tables. When we talked about data structure, we discussed this idea of dividing data into multiple tables, one for each general category of data. And this is because it's not efficient to include all of the information in a single table. If we look at this example, this is something like what our portal data would look like if we combined all of the tables together. And so we've got the date of sampling, and then we have the plot number and the plot type. But we'll see that for any given plot number, the plot type is always the same. It's the same experiment, so plot2 is always a control. And we also have the genus and species information. And again, anytime it says albigula over here, it's going to say neotoma over here, because this is just the combined name for a species. And so these columns are kind of redundant. If we knew one, we already knew the other. And that both takes up a lot more space in memory, but it also means that anytime we need to change something, we potentially have to change it in thousands of places uh, instead of just changing it in one. And we can avoid this kind of redundancy by using multiple tables, with each table containing a single kind of information. And so in the portal data set we've been using, we see this by having a surveys table, which provides information on the individual small mammals that are captured, a species table that provides information about the species that those individuals belong to, and a plots table that provides information about the plots on which they're captured. This is nice because, for example, if a species name changes, which is very common, instead of having to change it hundreds or thousands of times in a big table, we can go to the species table and change it, change it once while leaving the species code the same. And in fact, we can see an example here where that's happened. Uh, this code is PI because it used to belong to a different genus. We do, however, often need to be able to put the data from our separate tables back together for an analysis. We might want to do an analysis at the genus level, in which case we'll need to know the information about the genus. And the way in which we do that is using something called a join, which we'll see how to do in the next video. In order to enable us to make these joins, these connections across tables, we need one or more columns in the different tables that help link the tables together. And so in the case of the portal data, that's the species ID column in the species table, which we also have in the surveys table. So if the species ID is NL here, it links to the species ID NL here, and that allows us to attach this extra information that it's a neotoma albigula and it's a rodent. And likewise, if we look in the plots table, we have a plot ID here, which is also the same as in the surveys table. And so we know that uh, if the plot ID is two in the surveys table, we know that it's a control plot. So that's the basic idea behind why we have separate tables and the kinds of information that we need in those tables, a linking field uh, to allow us to put them back together using a join. Why are you slow? Why are you tired? Why is my voice so low?